Why aren't there fat Kryptonians? Maybe that's a dumb question. It's one I've been thinking about for a while, actually. And now that I think about it, why is not the right question. It's more of why can't there be fat Kryptonians? Because I know why there aren't fat Kryptonians, but why can't there be? Because as I understand it, and I'm a huge comic book nerd, um, Kryptonians get their power. So a Kryptonian, if you are not nerd enough to know what that means, which no judgments, um, a Kryptonian is like a super Superman. Superman's from the planet Krypton, Supergirl from the planet Krypton. Um, they're Kryptonians. Um, they don't get their powers through their physical body. They get it from yellow sun radiation and partially from the gravity of Earth, as I understand it. Occasionally they get retconned and changed and altered in different tellings, but that's, as I understand it, how a Kryptonian has their powers. So why are they always ripped? Why are they always these specimens? And they're not always these perfect specimens of, of physical perfection. Um, Henry Cavill, yes. Yes. The Witcher, yes. I understand. He, he, you know, he's shaped like this, and, and it's... Yeah, that's what we think when we think of Superman. But at the same time, his physical form has varied a lot, uh, depending on the artist. Not He's never been fat, except in sort of imaginary stories, I'm sure. But he's never actually been fat. But Christopher Reeve, while being in fantastic shape, was not this that, you know, Henry Cavill was. So he has varied. And I think... It's just, it's one of those things that bothers me. It's this lack of presentation of, or the lack of, of representation of fat people in media. Um, and, and this just exemplifies it because there's no good reason why a person who gets their powers through the magic, the science magic of a different sun and different gravity would need to be in perfect shape. Um, there's no reason a person with a magical ring um, would need to, could, could not be fat. There's no reason that someone who uses magic as a superpower couldn't be a fat person. But we almost never see it. And, and that just makes my mind go down the route of just the way that fat people are shown in media, like I said. Um, and I think what got me down this route was watching WALL-E with the kids. And I like WALL-E. Um, I have a problem with the way the humans are presented. Um, because if you've seen it, um, they find, you know, all humans... Uh, all surviving humans are on this giant spaceship and they're all morbidly obese and they're all fat and lazy and stay in hover chairs all the time um, and never bother to get up and do anything. And it bothers me because they're using fatness as a narrative shortcut. It's a narrative shorthand. It's if we show you a fat person you will imply, you will, you, will, you will think certain things about this person if we show you a fat person. Um, it's, it's done in all media. It's done in TV shows. It's done in film. It's done in books. The Dursleys are fat, ugly, and horrible. Uh, Dolores Umbridge is fat and horrible. Uh, Crab and Goyle are fat and horrible. It, it, it's clearly shorthand. If it's a fat person, they're a horrible person, almost exclusively. Um, not 100% of the time, obviously, but a lot of the time. And then you look at the most recent thing that uh, when I think of superheroes and I think of fatness, of course our, our minds go to Fat Suit Thor from Avengers Endgame. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen that. Um, and it just bothers me because clearly it's being used for humor. It's being used for a cheap gag. Ha ha, isn't this hilarious? A normally uh, incredibly cut specimen like Christopher Hemsworth is wearing a fat suit. This is hilarious. And they try to cover it afterwards by saying, oh, it's about relating to him and it's about showing things. I'm like, 
you're using the narrative shorthand. And the narrative shorthand is that a fat person is lazy and failed in some way, broken in some way, uh, is just not good. Whatever, whatever you want to say about that. It's just a, a fat person is not a good person. Um, and you don't have to actually overtly say it. All you have to do is show that they're fat. And that bothers me because I'm fat. I've been fat all my life, uh, varying degrees of, but yeah, I'm probably always going to be fat, at least some level of fat, and I've come to terms with that. But what I don't like, and I see more and more of, is just this presentation of this shorthand, this saying, we need to show that this person is in some way a bad person, and so we will make them fat. Now, there are exceptions. There's obviously exceptions. Um, Ned from the Spider-Man films. Ned in the Spider-Man films is a fantastic character because he's not written to be fat, but he was cast as, with a fat actor. Um, it's never addressed. He's never. He's a high school student who's never teased because he's fat. He's teased because he's a nerd. Uh, he is ne it's never brought up. There's never anything that says, like, oh, I'd love to be Spider-Man too. I'd love to be your spider buddy, but I I'd have to lose weight. Like, that's never an issue. Even in the second film, and this is a spoiler, in the second Spider-Man film, he has a girlfriend. And it's never brought up as an issue that he happens to be an overweight person. Um, that's how you do it, if you're going to do it. Because... As long as I can remember, fat people are presented in a certain way. And personally, I'm sick and tired of it. Maybe you're not, but it bothers me. And maybe if I ever write a Superman comic, there's going to be a fat Kryptonian in there. If I ever get that chance. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, it is 8 o'clock on the dot. On March 24th, this is the Morse Code. I'm Chris Morse. I'll see you tomorrow.